Alright, here's a really nice steam engine and boiler mounted on a trailer. Got um, woodworking equipment mounted on top of the trailer. There's a demonstration how a planer would work or a table saw and a small lathe. And it's all connected by these belts. The boiler is built by Gordon Sullivan. Um, Works great. The pop-off valve is set at 80 pounds. It's leaking by a little bit there. Really nice boiler. It is a water leg boiler. Professionally built. I don't know if it's a code boiler or not though. I don't think so. And a uh, nice whistle. Pop-off valve is set at about 80 pounds, I would say. And uh, beautiful engine, flyball governor works good, oiler up there, swift oiler, it's about 36 inches tall to the top of the stack. So, It runs beautiful, it doesn't need much uh, RPM. Just a little bit more there. This is a horizontal compressor, which uh, you, what you do with all of these is you slide them to the side. And it's now pumping. This pulley here is neutral. That's how they all work. Now it's not moving. This pump here pumps water from the tank that's inside the trailer over to that pump there. And that starts just pumping into the boiler. Priming it. And there's also the injector on it, right here. And you just open the water in valve a little bit, turn on the steam, turn on the steam there. See, it's all the water coming out the bottom now. Then you just turn the valve in a little bit. Turning this valve, almost shutting it off. So that's shut off. So now this it's injecting water into the boiler. And you can see that over here on the sight glass. So that's working really good as well. So once you reach enough water in the boiler and just turn that one off. It's got a big water tank inside of it. Beautiful engine and boiler. These are, uh, look like stainless bands on it. It's wood lag, as you can see right there. Tank is inside here, all the valves and everything are in there. The water tank is filled by that white. Uh, you just put your hose in there and that fills the tank. <coughs> Not a real big trailer, it's like six by six, I think, six by seven. Got a spare tire in here. And like I say, you just pump it. This pump here. That primes this pump here. This is a mechanical pump. Really nice governor. Very nice. Leader.
Listen to the bark. Beautiful. I'll blow the whistle. Turn down your volume. Whoa. Tricocks are right here. And here's the information on Sullivan. Gordon Sullivan. Type K copper tubes, 19 and 0.6 square feet. The heating surface at 100 psi, but he's only got like 80 on that. 80, 75 range. This is uh, back to tank on that uh, pump over there. Return to tank. Or you can have it going into the boiler. This is your drain right here and blow down. Bell was really stuck. Looking good. Oh, I can't think of anything else that needs to be explained. I'll go over this. Uh, Injector one more time. We'll let it fill up. Turn on the water, which is is on. That's all the way off there. On, and of course this valve has to be on too for the pump, the injector to inject water into the boiler here. And this valve has to be also be on. So you got to have this valve so you have a clear path to the boiler. Turn on the steam. See how much water is coming out of there? So then I'm just going to turn this in until I see that water stop. You can probably hear it when I turn off the engine. You hear the injector working? Now she's working again, just by turning the valve in and out. And look at how much the water's gone up. It's amazing how injectors will just put so much water into the boiler. And it'll run, I know, down below 40 pounds, the injector will. It's a real nice unit. So well, it's going to go up for sale, so as much as I'd like to keep it, I don't have room to store it. You can call me, 206-948-0770, if you have any questions about this. I don't know how we're going to ship it, it's on a trailer, it could be uh, shipped by uh, uh, some kind of independent trucker, I guess. Two zero six nine four eight zero seven seven zero.